bebê? Oi, bebê, que saudade que eu tô desse bebê. Aí tu não lembra mais do Dante. Tu viu o Dante, Isla? We are Georgia and Diego. And this is our home, unforgettable. For the past five years, we've been sailing the planet. Our challenge now is to continue the adventure as our family grows. Subscribe and join our life at sea. Welcome, Captain! Some of the advantages you have you on board. Someone is already preparing breakfast for us, Isla. Thank you, thank you, baby, for looking after the boat, looking after our baby girl. And yeah, it's it feels great to be home. And it's incredible to see this little girl. She's oh all my God, over the, the camera. place, grabbing the, the camera. camera. Sorry, guys, this is Isla behind the camera. Girl, let me film, please. Let me film. Let me film. And yeah, she's talking, she's moving, she's eating. So I have to make three plates instead of two now. First of all, it's great to be back, as I said before. But uh, when I first heard that I was going to Rwanda, uh, I look at Georgia, she looked at me and we were a bit concerned because we have these pre-established ideas about Africa. And, but it didn't took long uh, once I put my, my feet there that uh, it's an amazing place. It's a very, very cool country. They are in a process of uh, rebuilding the country. The country had big issues in the past. In the last uh, 20 years, they are coming back to life and there's a lot of initiatives to that. The, probably one of the best uh, people in the world, very friendly and really happy to see you there. The work itself went really good, even faster than we expect. I was expecting to stay away from home for more time. It's a country in the middle of Africa, so it's very green, it's very high, it's just like a 1,400 meters altitude, the place I was working, and lots of hills, and all these hills are cultivated. Yeah, Isla. And of course you have like all that African mood that it's so nice, you know, people, the woman with the color dresses and uh, all the African hospitality. So it was a great experience. I'm really happy I, I, I got this gig. Being that cool definitely is the burden of being away from family, but also brings this uh, feeling for me that family is it's what matters. The three of us together, were, wherever we are, that, that will be home because I wasn't missing the boat, I wasn't missing Polynesia, I was missing my two girls. It was the first time I experienced this in this level, you know, just like a, such a... Saudade is the word in Portuguese, which is which uh, means just like a deep sense of missing uh, some, somebody, someone or some kind of situation. It makes me wonder. With all the islands and things around Tahiti, we don't know, we never take time to explore Tahiti properly. And today a friend uh, lent us a car. It's a Sunday, it's very hot, so it's just like, okay, let's just drive around the island. And we came to this place, and so far so good, it's great. It's, it's nice to be in this, this kind of uh, environment also, also, not only on the beach, to be in the middle of the, this little forest. And I can see a beautiful waterfall there, so it's promising. This place is called the Troacas Cat. There are three waterfalls 
I don't know if you can reach all of them, but we're just having a look. Well, it seems that from the truck cascade, only one is uh, available now. We cannot go to the other two. So let's just check the one that uh, is allowed to go. I think the others might, because it rained a lot, so it might be like falling rocks or things like that. So not very safe. Wow, it's beautiful. This island is just so blessed. You see, there's no lack of fresh water. Waterfalls were actually a quick stop because since we cannot go into the water there and there's not much shade and some flies We decided just to have a look and yeah, keep going. We're probably gonna go to a beach that is close by Or I don't know drive around the island for a bit Look at this I I totally underestimate the guy it's Wow beautiful. Let's dig in <laughs> I'm hungry Tama mate. That's it's like a Bon Appetit classic Tahiti, free coconuts just by the road. I made a mess of trying to drink it. And you're gonna do it again? <laughs> you're washing yourself in coconut water. <sighs> Feels good, it's good for the skin, I heard. He got from that coconut tree. Yeah, it's just like... No a... effort at all. No. Perfect. And Isla is playing with a funny toy from her friend. <laughs> It's actually a doll, but might be a little creepy. <laughs> You're trying to eat her head. It's like mini Isla. You're eating your mini you with fins. <laughs> okay, whatever. Show us how to do it in an elegant way. You have superpowers. Well. Not so bad. We are heading to Point Venus. This is like a beach, a park. Uh, yeah, it's a park and a beach. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's the most northern part of the island of Tahiti. And it's a place uh, full of history, as you're gonna see. This was the first lighthouse ever built in South Pacific in 1867. And this place here, where we are, it's called uh, Point Venus. Sir Francis Cook was sent here by the Royal Navy to observe the passage of Venus in front of the sun. And with this, they, they will be able to estimate the distance from the Earth to the sun. Didn't quite work because of some uh, optical phenomenon, but this expedition, just like uh, he built a fort in this place and they, uh, led many discoveries on uh, botanical and many things so it was not a total failure but today it's a public beach and like the Tahitians love this place it's full of people today Sunday people playing all sorts of things volleyball the tank and which is a French game with balls wow. <laughs> this is the tank
my god, this is the first time I'm leaving the boat without Isla all by myself in 30 days that I walk on the pier and I'm not carrying her, the stroller or in the carrier, just like, yeah, so easy. It feels good, I have to admit. I'm going to take a shower at the marina showers, lots of water, just enjoy myself, have some time to breathe. But uh, here we need to come out of the marina, like here's the marina, yeah. And we need to come out and walk here, all the way on the walk side, like, I don't know how we'd call that, the boulevard maybe or something like that, to reach the offices and the shower rooms of the marina. It's a little walk, so sometimes we just feel lazy and we just shower on the boat. I tried with Isla once or twice and it was... Well, I need to shower very quick anyway because she was on the stroller and then she started crying once and I was showering and like, oh my god, I need to stop her. So it was a bit of a mess. And then since then I haven't come here on the, on the showers of the marina. So yeah, now I'll just give myself a treat. Ah, uh, guys, the things we crave when we become a parent. A long, nice shower without interruption, without worrying if Isla needs my attention because now she's with her dad. Before I would like, okay, I'm dreaming of going scuba diving or like do some hiking or just, I don't know, go to the beach. Now I'm dreaming to have like an uninterrupted shower. Oh, and just to make it clear, I'm for sure missing diving and hiking and all the other stuff. And I'm looking forward to do it soon. But for the moment, right now, shower. Guys, one thing that can trouble a captain's sleep, besides a baby, are the throw holes. These parts are vital for the safety of a boat and very often I keep thinking about it. I was thinking about it in Africa, if they were okay, it's time for me to check every single one of them. So every captain must be on top of their throw holes, know where they are located, the condition and how many they are and what to do in an emergency. Okay, so today I'm gonna guide you through my true who check. I'm gonna assess the condition, see if everything is shape. I'm gonna teach you how to make sure your true who's are sound. And I'm gonna do some preventive maintenance as well. It's, it, that means that I'll be stuck in my head with some, in, in some not very nice compartments, but this is boat life. Come along. For this task, I'll need WD-40 flathead screwdriver, with a solid uh, bottom and a clean cloth. If everything goes according to the plan, that's all I need. True hole usually lasts 20 years, 30 years. They can be made of, out of bronze or, or marilon. Ours, it's, uh, they are made of bronze and they've been installed in 2016. So I'm pretty sure we are still good about it. But as it's the safety of my crew, safety of my family, I don't mind being a bit paranoid about that. No further ado, let's investigate our true holes, starting with this head. Classic boat yoga position. It's uh, hard to work, it's even worse to film, but this is the job. All the true holes are right here. We start removing the dirt, and first step, it's a visual inspection. You see if there's no leaks, nothing ugly, no corrosion. Then, second step, it's the top test, okay? You grab the screwdriver. And you hit it. Hit it hard, huh? We are looking here for hollow sounds. Sounds that something is not okay, if that structure is damaged around there. So you can hit it. You can also do it on the outside when you are, when you haul out. The structure looks good, the hoses looks good. Now we're gonna check the valves. They tend to deteriorate faster than the actual true hose. So we're gonna move it, see if they are all moving, and we're gonna apply some WD-40 to prevent corrosion and just to make smooth to open and shut these valves. Yeah, 
You see the top one? It's a bit stiff. So just uh, lubricate a bit, make uh, more. Now we're gonna check our hoses, see how they are and how are the hose clamps. Always use double hose clamps in opposite ways, like here, here, here. So no corrosion, they're in good shape. I'm gonna tight them a bit. Okay, this one is done, but unforgettable has 11 true hose uh, below the waterline and two more above so now i'm gonna check the others and remember from this guy depends the safety of your boat and you're fine yeah all good as expected so I can sleep tight now. Uh, I mean, I have Isla, but I can sleep better now. You're laughing. You're laughing, eh? <laughs> Okay, I'm going out. Today we are splitting forces. Diego is going to the supermarket with Isla, so I have some time for editing. I'm going to the room in the marina that has air conditioner because it's so warm today. And we are trying to get everything done today because tomorrow in the morning my parents are arriving. Yes, we are so stoked. It's gonna be great to see them. They're gonna meet Isla after eight months. They've been trying to come since she was born. They were supposed to come in April, but then, you know, all the story border closed, borders open, and then with lots of restrictions and blah, blah, blah. And now finally they were allowed to come. So they are on their way now. And it's gonna be amazing to have someone to help with Isla for the first time in eight months. So we finally can do some things together, Diego and I, because my parents will love to be with her. So yeah, I think it's gonna be really good. It's gonna be very refreshing for all of us. We are happy to see my parents too. It's nearly a year we don't see them. So yeah, we are super stoked and we wanna get everything ready today so we can enjoy tomorrow. Market. I'm gonna do the shopping to aid the in-laws uh, with Isla. There she is. Would be way easier to do with Georgia, but Georgia has to edit. We are late for the next video. So let's see how it goes. Well, she managed for over a month. I can manage for a day, right? Let's go shopping with daddy. Let's go. Yay! In-laws are very easy to please. No dramas about food, so we don't buy, we need to buy anything special. But George's old man likes some beer. This is the local beer, it's called Inano. So there's the red one, the white one, the blue one, and the black one. So I'm buying one of each. I hope he enjoys it. Also, mother-in-law uh, likes some chocolate. And we get her some, of course. Which one you want? Mm -hmm. You don't know? It's overwhelming, huh? There's so many. Okay. Nearly done, girl. Nearly done. Yeah? Hold. Bear with me. Bear with me. You're doing great so far. We are doing great. First time she's using this seat. She's stoked. She can interact more with stuff now. Mm. Well, that's kind of work. I think she's disappointed we left the supermarket. 
As you can see, baby's crying, so it's time to wrap up this video, guys. Please remember to subscribe to our channel if you are new here and give a thumbs up to this video. And before you go, check our online store. The link is in the description below. We have very cool swag. Now Christmas is coming, so if you're looking for a nice gift for your loved ones, that's a great idea. Go check it out and yeah, cool swag. Well, guys, that's it for today. See you next Thursday.